good afternoon. Because it is afternoon. Or whatever time it is at your place. Right. It's afternoon here. And we're going to be all over the place because we are awful afternoon. And you know what? It's Usually we do this in the morning. I know. So we're really late and we're a week yeah. late. We're just late. Sorry, guys. So, anyway. But we're the girls in the Arn Cafe. Welcome. 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 <laughs> I'm Tristan. I'm Christy. Christy's daughter. Tristan's mom. And I'm the dyer behind Yarn Cafe Creations. And I'm the dyer behind Dragon Horde Yarn. And welcome. Hello. Once again. Again. Yeah. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have no notes. That's yeah. not true. No. Okay. <laughs> That's not true. In my little mini notebook, I made a couple notes. They're great. They're great So notes. that we could remember the important things to talk about. Like the drawings. Okay. Like the drawings. There's prizes coming up, you I guys. Know. Do you want to do them just right now? No. 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 That is so not <laughs> Why would we do the that right now? Go. I don't think so. Okay. So we're just happy to be here. It's been, mm -hmm. we're about a week late just because life has been crazy. And we um, almost waited another week because it's already four o'clock and I have to go home and dye yarn. We almost said, we're just going to do it next week. And we're like, we can't because then we're going to Maryland the next week. Yeah. And we have a show coming up and we're so this excited about that. This is literally the only time we can do it right now. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So let's stop talking and just start, well, start talking. Yeah. I'm about like, we right, still have to the, talk, Mom. the things that matter. So Okay. But anyway, Tristan, how was your... Well, no, let's... What? How was your week? How was my week? Yeah. Why are you asking me like that? Because mine's more exciting. So we're going to get yours out of the way. <laughs> that was kind of insulting, <laughs> but you're right. <laughs> the last three weeks have been good and busy. Just been working mm -hmm. and, and knitting and dyeing yarn. Mm -hmm. How was your week? It was so great. Tell me why. Well, the last three weeks were okay. But after we podcasted last week, the next day on Monday, I put my notice in at my job. She quit. I quit on my mom. She's not working in the office next to me Not working anymore. for you anymore. Nope. She's working for herself now. So, which is the best thing ever. And I'm so excited. It is weird not having you there, though. I know. And I hate that part of it. But we used to see each other every single day. Oh, my gosh. Except for Sundays, mostly. And every, every other Saturday. Every other Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> Because we podcasted usually yeah, every but, Saturday. So I went full-time yarn dyeing. So That's so exciting, though. Thanks. I'm I'm losing my mind over it. I'm so excited. And I have so many things lined up that I'm going to be doing and shows that I'm looking into. and Designing. Designing. I've been putting aside um, a morning each week to work on some designs while the yarn's cooking. But it's a lot of work, and I did not expect it to be as busy as I wanted it to be because there were so many things that I wasn't able to do when mm -hmm. I was, you know, working 40 hours a week, going to school and doing yarn, like, at least 30, probably still 40 hours a week. Probably. So, yeah, I sense. thought I'd be like, oh, this will free up so much of my time in the afternoons. And it's like, nope, nope, I'm still dying yarn from dawn till dusk. Well, and, you know, but I think I think when we're busier, we tend to, we're forced to be better time managers. Yeah. I know I am. If if I'm busy, oh, hold on, my updates want to install. Oh, we should probably not do We're that. We're not going right to do now. that. Um, yeah, I know that when I'm super busy, I feel like I get things done more efficiently than mm -hmm. when I have extra time, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do that in a minute. Well, I'm going to sit in it for a little time. bit longer. Yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah, so that's exciting though that you yeah. now you have to learn how to manage your time differently. It's different, yep. Mm -hmm. And so I have to create a schedule for myself because I would love to publish some new patterns. I've actually been working on a few, and I'm going to show one of them today because I did finish it, or at least one of them because they're gloves. Um, so I finished one of them. I need to get them test knit and figure out how to do sizing with color work. So that'll be exciting. Um, that's exciting. Yeah, though. I'm I'm pretty thrilled about it, but. It's just been crazy, but so much fun. So I've been able to do like Instagram lives during the day and just check in with people once or twice a week, which I love. And it just sucks. She she, she got mad at me the other day. She's like, you haven't even watched my live yet. You haven't yet. watched my live, I'm Mom. like, I've been at work. We I actually have a job. We can't watch lives while we're at work. So even, sorry. Yeah, even though I did. You did. When I was doing paperwork. Yeah, when you were doing things you couldn't didn't have to call people. But. Yes. So I was still yeah, really I, good at my job. Could I not even usually looking at my phone? I know. I don't know what's going on in the Instagram world. I know. Most of the time. Although I'm a, I am quite envious, not jealous. I'm envious that you get to be home all day. 
it's still a lot of work though hashtag goals hashtag life goals that's right but who knows someday one day one day but and then all the other days after that right yes I was so funny because I've been thinking that every day was like Friday this week. It has been pretty much. It has been for me. Yeah. Every day's a weekend. I know. But then Eric last night, he's like, let's watch the new Jumanji movie, which is hilarious. That's what I've heard. I've heard it's actually really good. It's just so funny because of Jack Black. And honestly, there are just so many penis jokes in it that I was losing my mind. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. That's so different than the first Jumanji. Oh yeah, but they make references to the first Do Jumanji they? and it oh. like broke my heart. Because Robin Williams. I know. I told Eric from like the day we started dating for some reason. <laughs> I'm just saying early in the relationship I'm like the day that Robin Williams dies is gonna be like I'm. he's probably the only actor I'm gonna cry over. And I was mm-hmm. right. And it breaks my heart and I love that guy. But mm-hmm. um but yeah, we were watching it last night and I'm like prepping to start watching my videos and putting my headphones in because Eric usually goes to bed at like 7 because he has to wake up around 2 a.m. every morning for work, which is awful. Um, but he's like, no, I'm going to watch it with you. And it's just weird because I'm like, oh, wait, it's Friday now. I've been kidding myself all week that it's Friday and it's actually here. Yeah, it's pretty exciting for you. I'm happy for you. Thank you. That's exciting. But yeah, so that's that's pretty much all it's been is just prepping for that, prepping for our show. I know you've been working on that too because that's coming up really soon. Well, I've been I've been dying yarn like crazy because the uh, we should probably just maybe we should just move right into the cool um, anti bullying campaign yeah. that we did a couple weeks ago. Oh my gosh, you guys! That was so touching and that was so cool. It went so well and everybody was so generous. That I added more yarn kits to my shop, which, mm-hmm. of course, took more time. Yes. And so I was just a little behind on my orders. And I, I want to thank everybody for being so patient with me on that. And um, I got the last of those orders out. I've got a couple more um, that I have to get out today. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, otherwise I'm almost caught up and getting just, ready for the show. Yeah, but that whole anti-bullying thing. Because it was on April 7th that we released all the things. I released my cinder pattern. Yep. And I didn't bring that either. I left like half my stuff at home. Because I I made her bring all her yarn for the display for our show. Yeah, and I'm like, I got it all. And then I left like a bag of stuff. But so my cinder beanie that's available now in Ravelry, um, the the proceeds from that were being donated as well to our anti-bullying campaign. And I extended it a little while. Mm -hmm. And you added more spots. And so we're still, like, calculating and figuring out what actually um, we're going to donate. But it was just so overwhelming. It was so cool. You guys were so supportive. It surpassed everything. Yes. And everyone posting about it It all day. It was such a great day. Yeah. So thank you guys all for for participating in that or for silently, you know, like, rooting us along. Like, it was just amazing. It went well. And we appreciate all the other makers who posted their... um, their promotions on that day and I feel like it went well for everybody so yeah thank you that was so awesome so much fun um and then we just have a couple one one thing that I want to tell you about that's going on in the Ravelry group right now yes is Lisa of um it's happy scrappy life I think Mm -hmm. on Ravelry and on Instagram she is uh putting together a swapless sock swap and it's featuring Yarn Cafe Creations yarn Yay. Uh, for June. And the slots are almost full. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think there's 10 or so slots yeah. left. And then for July, it'll be Tristan's yarn, Dragon Horde yarn. Yay. And we'll post the signups for that probably, I'll talk to Lisa, maybe in a week or I don't, I don't know for sure. Maybe, I don't remember when she said. I think her, maybe like a month out. Okay, maybe in a month. Something but like anyway, that. I know that the money is due for mine by May 15th, I believe. And mine will be due by June, June 15th. 15th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think there there was 50 slots. I think there's 10 left. So if you want to go be part of that, you'll get 10, 10 gram minis. Mm-hmm. And yeah. So if you haven't tried out Yarn Cafe Creations or if there's some colorways you haven't been able to try out yet, um, that, that is such a great opportunity to be able to do these swapless swaps. Mm-hmm. Um, I you'll know for... Minis. Yeah, because for we got some from Stranded dye works when mm-hmm. you did it and I hadn't tried her yarn before and I love it yeah so it that was a great experience so fun to see other people's yarn and they're yeah. little minis or only 10 grams about 40 yards each mm-hmm. and 
Great for throwing in a stripe in a shawl or something. Or um, add to your scrappy blanket yeah. or scrappy socks. Yep. Or just to stare at and put in a big drool bowl and, and try to frame collect. it somehow. If you're a collector. Oh my gosh, collector of yarny things. Of yarny things. This would be a great collection. Yep. So anyway, I think that money's due in the middle of May. Mm -hmm. So you still got a little bit of time, but I know that those slots I hadn't even we haven't really promoted it much yeah, at all. You and did once and then they Yeah. I'm sorry, my phone was... Was that the cat? That was the... No, that was... Well, that was Elvis. Want a cookie? Wow. My ringtone. Anyway. Okay, and then now on to the really exciting yes, stuff. Yes, what everyone is actually here for right now. If you participated in, to, in our It's Not For You, Cal, which was um, started at the beginning of June, or <laughs> the when? beginning of January of the year, January 1st, we started the It's Not For You, Cal, where it was a selfish knit-along. And you had to just knit yourself something that fell into one of the three categories that we had. Mm -hmm. Sweaters, shawls, or socks. Mm -hmm. And we have drawn the prizes. We did. We did random number ge number generator. Wow. What did we do, Tristan? Num number generator. <laughs> random number random, generate. Random number generator. <laughs> I did <it>. generate. <laughs> generate. <laughs> oh, my God. It's late. It is. I'm sorry, guys. This podcast might not be as long today. It might not, because I still have to dye yarn. Yeah, we're going to try to make it a little bit shorter. Um, okay, so according to the notebook. According to the Optum notebook. The Optum notebook that we the, are not promoting in any way. That I might have We are not affiliated free. with Optum, and we're not here to promote. Anyways. Um, okay, so we drew for the sock category. Grab the prizes, and I'll okay. hold this. Okay, the sock category. Well, I didn't have them ready, Mom. Well, what? <laughs> what? This is a this is a live broadcast. I know, but where the I don't. You know which goes with what, and I don't. I hope I do. We can pause for a second. No, what? I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. So, um, okay. we drew for the sock portion of the. It's not for you. And the prize is going to be this. A little needle cozy from Gimme a Crown. And then these beautiful skeins of yarn from Queen Big Ears Fiber Co. A little bunch and of minis. minis. And not my DNA, I promise. Don't make promises you can't keep. I know, right? So the winner of the sock portion. There were 357 entries. Um, yes. And it's number 255, which was Mom of Peg. Her name's Carrie. Carrie, Yay! congratulations. You can reach out to Tristan via... Do it on Ravelry. Ravelry. Please. So and Dragon Horde Yarn on Ravelry. Okay. And that's what you win. And we'll get those out to you this week. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next portion, the next prize, I should say, is... This beautiful bag by Nanette Wake Studio and some beautiful stitcher markers from Ann Tudor. Those were both donated by Nanette Wake of Nanette Wake Studio. And then this beautiful skein of yarn by Candy Coated Yarn. It's Winter Wonderland and this by is the sock, Dawn. Or the shawl? Or shawl. The, and this is for the shawl portion, which there was 163 entries. Yay! You guys are crazy. The winner was number 31, and her name is Viv Crest. Yay, Viv! You won that. So get in touch with Tristan on Ravelry, and, and we'll I get that to say, know. this color and here's pumpkin carving of Yarn Cafe Creations. It happens to be yes. And then the next prize headed it. your way Ooh. is going to be it's by a single strand, and it's this big, beautiful sweater bag that's gorgeous and a gigantic skein of Miss Babs Yarn. Right and this is actually donated by Laura of a Crochet, crochet and Hoobie. Thanks, so Laura. So this is in the biker chick colorway, and it's in her <laughs> light worsted, which is, it's a DK. Yeah, but, it's like, it's a DK. Yeah. Um, and that uh, it was a sweater, and there were three, or I'm sorry, 93 entries in this oh one. Gosh, you guys knit 93 sweaters. Not all of you. That's crazy. 93 of you knit 90 sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> you all knit. You 93. all knit ninety three. It was so the number the one the the, the winning post. Oh my gosh! Was number seventy who was Ramona Firehorse, which we happen to know Ramona. And I'm so excited Yay, about that, Ramona. So, so get in touch with Tristan, and she will get this 
lovely package I'm mm -hmm. giving out to you. So thanks to everybody who participated in that. I thought that oh was gosh. really fun. It was so and much I fun. I think we both. I made a, I made one of each a sweater, a sock because this is my sweater. I made a pair of socks and I made the shawl. What did I make? Well, you made shawl. Well, you did no, make you I made the last make, shawl. Though, I made a sweater. Was, mm -hmm. I made a sweater. Yeah. Did you? Yes, make, I you made a sweater. And did you make socks though? That's the one we I made asked. socks. Okay. Yeah. And that was it. You didn't make a, a shawl? I didn't make a shawl. This is my first shawl of the year. Is it really? Mm hmm I wasn't in a shawl mood. I didn't, I didn't want to wear it. I guess it, I was them. thinking of the Andrea Mowry one, but that was last year. That was like a year in the works. I want to knit another one. So anyway, congratulations. Yay, and um, we'll get those out to you guys this week if you can get in touch with Tristan. So um, on Ravelry, on Instagram, I get a lot of messages and things get, you know, jumbled and forgotten. Yeah. So Ravelry is the best place to get a hold of me for prizes. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Is that, that's all of the, I think that was all of the admin stuff. Let me get out my little. Your little handy mini. dandy notebook. That's all I wrote down anyway. <laughs> there could be more. There could be. I got three cows this last couple weeks. You though. did. I did. Oh my gosh. Three I think cows. you need to say their name. They're, they're three cows. I can't name them because then I might, oh, there's a rubber band on this. Because then I might get attached to them and I can't do that. I so think you should. we are now up to three cows and a goat so far. And hopefully chickens soon. Maybe chickens soon. That'd be so cool. We're living the farm life. Right? Mostly Vaughn Slowly. Is. Mostly Getting Vaughn into is. it. I'm living the yarn life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We need to make that into a button. It should say, I didn't choose the yarn life. The, the yarn, yarn life, life chose me. me. Right, right. Mom. I know. We need to do that. We need to make that. That would be adorable. A hair in my eye. So, um, we should move on to the next portion, which is? What are you sipping on, Mom? Oh, that portion. Well, let's are start. Are you thinking something else? No, I didn't know what you were going to say. <laughs> okay. I'm just going with it. Well, housed in my beautiful. Someone just knock. No, that was me knocking a box oh, over. Okay. We are a mess over here. I've got a pile because I'm like, we got a podcast. Let's hurry. This beautiful bag by Bumpy Crafts. I love that. Antonia, which is beautiful. And it's enormous. And it has this thing I going think I have on. Mine. Yeah, I'm using mine from her too. Are you? Mm -hmm. Housed in here. This is kind of my go-to, if it's a big sweater that I'm working on, my go-to sweater bag. So the pattern that I have been working on, I started it, um, when did I start it? It's quite a while ago. Uh, is the Malin Sweater by Isabel Kramer. Oh my gosh, I'm just... I love it. I love it. And I'm made There's so many it. good patterns out right now. And I'm not sure I'm in love with this color that I'm making it in. It's it's my vanilla colorway. Um, I may over dye it. I don't okay. know. Okay. But... Let me just. That'd go. be really cool. It's like a sage. If you could find out how to make it like a sage color. Sage. I was even thinking just doing, you know, like a dark navy or a brown or a black or because be it's cool. pretty light. So I think I could get away with doing any color. That's true. Yeah. But with blue. Look at how. You could make it green. That's true. If I put a blue on it. it might you put like green. a light blue, you could almost get away with. Or if you did like a, a, a light green and then blue. That might be really pretty. That would be really pretty. Look at how gorgeous this is, though. I love that It's pattern. just a delicate, simple cable. There's only really two stitches or two sections, like a cable here and a cable here. And That's then the rest it. of it's a lace pattern and then a cable, a cable. And I decided to add a little detail under the arms. So I put in just this rib pattern. I love that you did that, though. I, I made it all the way down. Um... And I think I'm going to do it under the arms, too, all going down the arm, just to give it kind of some texture, just because it is a solid light color. Mm -hmm. I just felt like it, it's something. kind of plain, and I wanted to add a little bit of detail. And if I over dye it, then that would be even better. I think so, too. Even if I did it like a goldish color, kind of like <gasps> this color. That would be pretty. Yeah, I just don't know if this is... This is a little light. I don't usually wear light colors like this. I usually wear more And then more what are you going to wear it with? Just like dark you, jeans? You can only or... wear it with jeans, really. No, I could wear it. Like if it's a gold, I could wear it with my navy blue pants. Well, no, I'm so. saying if it was that color, you could really oh, only this wear one? it with jeans. You could wear it with jeans or, I mean, I have white pants. I have all different colors pants. Oh, okay. I have rainbow pants. So that's the Malin sweater and it's on a, I'm using my Chiago Needles. And I don't even know what size they are. It's probably like a size 8 because it's yeah. on DK weight, size 7. And it's a DK weight sweater. 
and I really am enjoying it. And it goes so fast. Like I, I stopped under the arms um, when I got sick and mm-hmm. I haven't picked it back up the first time I got sick. So it's been like five oh, weeks. The and, first time you got sick. Yeah. I got sick twice in a couple of weeks, but or in about a month. Um, and then I started from the underarms this week and I've worked on it three times and I've done okay. that much. So I'm almost, I mean, I'm really getting close to the ribbing on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, you're almost done. And this pattern has a ribbed bottom all the way around, but I think I am going to split the hem in the middle here of my ribbing detail design on the side. I'm going to split it and keep the same ribbing detail mm-hmm. right here, but then I'll just do regular, maybe one by one rib. I love that. On the bottom. Well, what are you doing right here? Are you doing a two by one? It's a two by one. Uh-huh. That, if, two if, minutes, if the one stitches... Pearl. If you split it where the stitches were even, you could just carry on that. I thought about doing that too, I because do, I don't want it to pull in. If I do one yeah. by one, and if it's I gonna do pull two, in by if two by two, it might pull in right here. You know what I mean on these two little sections. I don't think it would. If I did two by two on. Yeah, this that's what bottom. I did with my Kingston tunic when I separated it that way. So you don't you it it laid pretty flat. Yeah, it laid pretty flat. Okay, that because I think that's what the pattern calls for is two by oh, two okay. ribbing on the bottom. So maybe I'll do that and then just do the two by one right here where I split. Because mm. I wanted to carry that down the bottom. You could even just you could just do two by one around the entire thing. That's what I was saying. I might do that too. I'll that have to pretty. see. I might look at it and see. Okay. But anyway, that is that's been a fun. It's been a fun, easy, simple, simple pattern. So if you're like new to cables or anything, would easy. this be something to? Yeah. Okay. Because you learn how to cable front and cable back. Okay. It's two by two. Yeah, so you learn how to do two basic cables, and you only do it every, like, 12th row. And then the rest of it is just yarn over rows, kind of lace, easy lace. Okay. Simple, simple, and I love it. I just think it's beautiful and delicate. I do, too. I think it's such a good accent. It is. And that's why I agree with you. I think over-dyeing it would be a really good move. Yeah, I think I'm going to over-dye it. If you did it, oh. We, I'm gonna might, have to we might have to talk about colors. Even a green, even like a mossy or I was thinking if you did green. like a, a gray blue over it. It might turn it green. It might turn into something like that. Maybe. I'll so, play around with it. We anyway. come back, it's like black. It's like, guys, I tried so many things. I just had to end up dipping it in I black. Just, I just had to do it. I'm going to have a Pepsi. Anyway, that's my first project. What do you got going on? Uh, well, right now I'm working on my vanilla sock. Well, it's not a vanilla. Um... I'm just doing a, a pattern that I came up with, which everyone does, because I like tech. I like texture in my socks because vanilla socks don't really fit very well. You're right; they get loose fast. Yeah, and so especially on the ankle, and so I'm just doing a four or three by one ribbing around mm-hmm. it, and I always do two by one ribbing around the top, and I always cast on 56 stitches, and this is my Molly Weasley colorway, but without the pink base. So maybe this is a... A new um, colorway. It's a Shrek color. She said it reminds her of Shrek. The colors that it remind me of Shrek. The greens and the golds and I don't know because... Well, maybe this will be a Mr. Weasley colorway. I like it. Maybe I'll just do that. Yeah. Um, I'm using my Knit Pro Zings. No, not not Knit Pro Zings. What are these called? Addy Flexi Flips. Oh. Um, which a lot of people... I've done a few like um, examples mm-hmm. on Instagram Live. Of how to knit with these. Do you and feel like it's a hit or miss? Like either people love them or they don't I like them? I think so. I mm. mean, it did take me a minute. And I would always suggest casting on with your usual cast on method. And then working the ribbing for a minute before jumping into these the first time. Because you're not really going to get an accurate read. Mm. Because the beginning is always going to be the hardest anyways. Like with any new method. But once you have something to hold on to, it's a lot easier. And this is... Um, my cute little mug stitch marker from um, Simply Serving HK. It's adorable. I love, I love this one. I like them smaller and daintier. They're cute. So yeah. I love that. But yeah, so I've had this yarn forever, and that's why the cake looks like crap. But I don't think so. I think it looks like Shrek. <sighs> Maybe this is my Shrek color. I don't know. I like the Mr. Weasley. Mr. Weasley is cool, too. I like that. But I also, I always do twisted ribbing on my, um, on my cuff just so that... I like, I really like the way it looks, honestly, for one, but it also springs back a lot easier, especially after you wash it. It does make it tighter? A little bit, yeah. Because that's what I'm kind of looking for is tighter, but not tight. Like, yeah. 
springy. It's more type. supportive. Yeah. Like a springy tight, not a, yeah. you knit that too tight. So it's just like, oh crap, that was a bad idea. Yeah. yeah these, it just springs back really well. And that's also why I did the ribbing down the whole leg because the ankle is where it falls down on me and it drives mm-hmm. me bonkers. And so when I do it this way, it doesn't do that. And I don't know how long I'm going to make these because I don't want to work on the heel. Why? So I might just work on it longer because I'm podcasting. Make a tube sock. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, I was doing um, a virtual knit night with Laura, crocheting Hoovian, and a bunch of um, our friends. And I got a little confused because I didn't realize that tube socks didn't have heels. She didn't know what a tube sock was. I thought a tube sock was just a really long sock with like the... Well, it usually is. Yeah. But it doesn't have a heel. So I didn't know what a tube sock was. And I found out in public. She, was, she even texted a me. A bunch of people. I'm like, did you know the tube socks have like don't have a heel? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, crap. Okay, it's just me. <laughs> I did know that. <laughs> but yeah, I found out, and I'm just like trying to sit there silently. And that's then they funny. said something. I'm like, oh, I thought you were saying that tube socks didn't have a heel. And they're like, that's, they don't. That's exactly I'm like, what we were saying. Oh, shit. Okay, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops, that was embarrassing. So... Yeah, maybe I could just make a tube sock now that, you know, I know what they are. They're super easy. The thing about, and people have knit tube socks, but the thing I don't like about tube socks is that it's one circumference all the way down. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really hug your heel at all. Maybe it has a little bit too much on top right there. Yeah. Where's my other project? Oh, it's way over here. Hold on. Like... I got you. Nope, it's it's not going to happen. Oh, I'm like, I thought you were saying, oh, no, it's just right here underneath me. No, I have... Wrap this around me. I have me. T-Rex arms right now in this outfit, <laughs> so I can't reach anymore. Oh, I love that. Okay, so my next, uh, my next whip, my next thing I'm sipping on is in my By the Bay awesome extra large canvas bag that I highly recommend because they're amazing. Amazing. And they have large pockets on the inside. Oh, but this is, okay, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not even going to say that. Say this is a mystery knit along. If you don't want to see it, don't look. I don't care. You're going to look. Everybody looks. I do. This is the, the, um. We're still going to say it. Spoiler alert. Okay, you can say it if you want. Mystery knit along. It's the. Helen Stewart. Helen Stewart. Mystery knit along with this. It's the impression. Impressionist Impressionist. art. Is it impressionist art? I think it's just the impressionist. Impressionist. It's on my, I have it on my iPad. The pattern. So, by Helen Stewart, Curious Handmade. And I am on clue number two still. Oh, yeah. Cl- clue three is out. So, I don't really clue think we need Clue four is out. Oh, well, then we, yeah. Clue four came out this morning. So, I'm like, I'm a little behind. A little bit. Well, care. you've been working on your sweater. I have been working on it. this, too. So, here is where I'm at so far. And mine is not like, mine is like drastic, stripy. Yeah. And that's how I wanted it. I didn't, I didn't know... I didn't know what it was supposed to be. No. I didn't know it's a mystery if it along. mattered, right? And everybody's is all fady and, like, not drastic. And I'm like, I don't care. I like it. So it's been, I'm doing this in my one ply. This is my petal color way that's not in the shop right now. And my cottontail, no, this is my orchid pink and the jet black. And I do have some jet black in the shop right now. But I this is all one ply. I love that. That's going to be so soft. Yeah. Well, actually, the black is not one play. I'm sorry. The black is on. You're a liar. I just lied. The, it's And you know what? It's not even the jet color. It's the black that that is got pink barely in spots. Barely a little bit. So, are you okay? Mm-hmm. You okay? I mean, you're knotted, and I don't... What did, oh, it's you. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Did you really just snort at me? <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> so anyway, this is I'm using on my yeah. needles that start with an L that are said so many different ways. I went to Google Translate. Luke, and yeah. it depends on <gasps> if you put in okay. like Swedish or German or what language you put in. And they're said different ways oh, wow. depending on. So we can just say Luca. Lu- Luca. Lu- or Likey. Lika. We can even just say Likey. One of them was Lika. Like Lika. 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 So anyway, that's the that's what I, the needles that I'm using right now, and I believe it's size they're size five. I think I so. went down. Are one, those the ones I got you? Yeah, because I think bad. the mystery knit along calls for a six, and I went down a size because mm. I didn't want it to be as enormous because the number of stitches you end up with are 
lengthy, extensive. Well, you a lot. still have to knit that many stitches. But then it'll be a little bit smaller. Okay. You don't like big shawls? No. Oh. Not like that big. You're like medium shawl? I like medium to big. I don't want them so big that you can't use them. And I'm a little person. And like the Andre Maori, the Find Your Fade, I loved knitting that. But it's so enormous I can't even use it. Yeah. I wish I'd have gone down two needle sizes on that one. Because I loved it and I still mm-hmm. wanted it. And you still want to wear it. I still want to wear it, but it's so big. It's like eight or nine feet long. Yeah. And it's just, you know. I've tried we to all wear know. It. I've tried to wear it. Yeah. I can't wear it. So Anyways. anyway, that is the Curious Handmade Mystery Did Along, and I'm on Clue 2. And I might switch it up a little bit. Um, just because you don't follow rules? Mm-mm. I want more of my black color in it, so I might do that. On well, the you don't know what's coming group. because she well, has I, six released. I or she's releasing it. six. No, I think just four. Oh. I think it said this was the final clue. I hope there's not six because clue three ends at like 380 stitches or something ridiculous. If it if there's more... And then if you it's have to do like, like an, an eye cord bind off. 800 <laughs> stitch shawl. Anyway, it's been a lot of fun to knit. Um, it's pretty simple. I'm just now getting to some of the lacy parts that are a little more, you have to think a little more, but not even not even bad at all. Mm. So anyway, that's been a lot of fun to knit. Love okay. it. Um, okay, what am I working on? Okay, I'm going to show. Oh, yeah, because I cast something off while we were talking to. Oh, yeah. We did FaceTime with Kay. Yay. A few minutes ago. Um, so in my By the Bay Yarn Co. bag oh, I didn't that she know made me. That. That's so cute. Um, I like it. You gave it to me. I did? You were here. She sent it. You were and, here. As a gift. I was here. I just don't okay. remember. Um, that was a long time ago. And I am currently, I guess I have a hoe. Yo. Yo. My, I don't, I, and stuff's oh going everywhere. Oh my gosh. Everywhere. This yarn just wants to be hidden under that thing again. So I'm using um, fingering weight yarn by Leadingman Fiber Arts in this beautiful, beautiful colorway that I do not know the name. I'm sorry. No, but it's so pretty. It's like a reddish goldish brownish. I love it so much. Reddish goldish brownish. That's the one. And then this skein that wanted to come apart and is barfing yarn everywhere. This is my Salem colorway. Yarn barf. I love it. Yeah. And I started working on a new pattern. It's a pair of fingerless mix mitts that are color work. This is gonna be your new pattern. Yeah, this is one of my new patterns. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. So <gasps> I think I'm gonna do it again in different colors because the variegated and the, I mean, these are just, you can't really see the patterning very well. It's, those are great length though, great size. Thank you. Love. And I'm gonna add, I have these just on a holder, but I'm gonna add a thumb and it'll go to about right here. But yeah, so I'm just working on these um, and I'm not going to tell you anything else about them because I'm not done. Because she doesn't really know. And I don't, and I don't want anyone out there stealing my pattern. That's right. Because it's super complicated. No, it's it's literally like a vanilla. It's pretty super easy. easy. It, color it is pretty easy. And it'll be a good beginner color work pattern, I'd say. Because the color work is literally just this line right here. That'll be perfect. That's it, so... Thank you. So I just have to write it up and finish, but I've been working on like four or five different patterns, but this is the one I'm the closest with, so I'm just going to show this, and hopefully I'll get it out within the next month or so. That'll be awesome. Yeah. Yay. I'm excited. Do you have a name for me? I don't know. Um, no. Okay. And it's fingering weight. It's fingering weight, yeah. So it's great for scraps. I think this took maybe a total of like the black color was... Like 12 grams or something. So if you have minis, Maybe. that might be perfect. Yeah, this might be a good mini buster. Yeah. So, Especially. but I mean, you need, like, well, so maybe like a 20 gram mini. They could mix and match. Yeah, mix and match it. Do the color work in different colors. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to I'm gonna do a couple of them. I'm going to put them out to my test knitters. And we'll see. That'll be awesome. Yay. Do you have any more things you're sipping on? I have one more thing that I'm okay. sipping on. Good, because I don't have any more. Oh, okay. All right, so my last thing is in my, everything's falling on the ground, okay, is in my Bumpy Crafts bag by Antonia that I love. I didn't know I loved hedgehogs that much. It's so cute, though. I love Those it. colors. I know, and it has a Those orange colors. and polka dots. Yep. That's what got me, because I was really tempted on getting that big bag, but I'm like, oh, these colors, I can't help it. And so I am working on my Tegna sweater, and I am 
almost to the sleeves and I'm dying. I'm so excited. And so this. I'm excited to see it. So this is the Tegna sweater way or sweater way coat. <laughs> oh my gosh, sweater. That's the Tegna. And it's by Caitlin Hunter. So Boyland. Boy, Networks. B yeah. Boyland Networks. Boyland Networks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm working on that and I'm doing it. I think it's it. Networks, is it? Or Boyland Knits? I think it's Networks. I don't know. God, how long have we been having issues with that now? <laughs> Anyways. Um, so I'm using my, wow, you cannot see that. My Bohemian colorway. So Dragon Horde yarn. It's a little different in the spring, It's a little different. It looks more gray almost. Yeah. So let me figure oh, out what so is pretty. going on here. Those colors speak to me. Do they? I like them. I like them too. So delicate. And one of these is not on. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. I know. I'm so oh excited. Will you be done for Maryland? I'm making it for Maryland. I might make one for Maryland. Oh my gosh. It's actually a really fast knit. A lot of people just picked it up and they're like to hear on it. So you have this awesome lace work at the bottom. And I think I actually accidentally made it a little longer than was expected. And so... It's almost ready for sleeves. Uh, yeah, I just finished this side for the uh -huh. um, shaping for the left side. Okay. And I have to finish the shaping on the front. So I have 11 rows here I have to do tonight. And then I pick up for the collar and then I knit the sleeves. Is there any lace work on the sleeves or is I it plain? I don't think so. I think, I think it's plain. plain. But I was looking at it and it's supposed to be a cropped sweater. But oh, I it'll still, be a little croppy. Well, I still have to, this is going to block out. So It will, yeah. It's that's right. probably just going to be a regular shirt for me, which that's is okay. fine. Like I was really on the fence about whether or not I wanted to do cropped or not. So it just made the decision for me. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I'd only wear it cropped with like some dresses I have. But if it's a full shirt, I'll actually wear it. With like more. jeans or yeah. shorts even. Yeah. So there's that. I love it. It's the, the shaping around the neck was, or uh, the shoulder shaping was a little a little confusing because some of it she didn't indi indicate whether or not you need to break the yarn, put it on a holder, like a couple of them I was a little confused, and then working the other one, the other sleeve shaping when you're still on this one, I'm like, okay, so I have that? to break off here and go over here. So I was a little confused, but it could have been just me reading the pattern. So I don't know, because she's pretty awesome at designing, so it could have yeah. easily just been me. <laughs> she's She's okay. She's, she's okay. She's all right. We like her. She's cool. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm using my Chiagu Red Lace, which I typically do, but I just, I it's love beautiful. that. I'm so excited. And I alternate skeins the entire way through. You did? Mm-hmm. The entire thing. I alternate it skeins. It looks so good. Thank you. That I'm lace work done. makes it look fady. I know. Mm-hmm. And I didn't fade it. It's just crazy. It's awesome. I'm so excited, but... Yes. I might have some leftover yarn, and I only this is two skeins. Really? I knit the size small, and it's two, I'm still working on my same two skeins. I've been alternating through the entire thing. That is cool. So it doesn't take a lot of yarn for at least, at least a small size. I think the small and the medium sizes um, you only need two skeins for, depending on the yardage. So that's really cool. I'm really excited. This. Because it's such a, it, it is a fast knit, especially if you actually do it cropped. Um, it's such a fast knit that I honestly might make it again. Another Wait, what size way. needle is that again? I didn't look. Because I want to make it and I I'm think looking it's a to size see what yarn four? I have in stock right now. Do you want to make one now? Uh huh? Yep, uh, I want to make one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Size three. Size three, and you said it takes about probably two skeins. Two skeins. And it's going to be a little loose on me, so you would probably be fine with the medium just with your bust size i think you'd be fine we, we really talk about that about my we talk size. about those things on here mom we make clothing we have to talk about shaping but i'm very narrow in my ribs that's yes, the thing so that's the only thing so i can it, here hold it up and see if this would be something you'd be comfortable with because my right yeah but you know your body you just hold it up and see if that's like the width that you're used to knitting for sweaters. I don't sweaters. usually have problems with the sizing. Yeah. Just, yeah, even though my breasts are larger because I'm so narrow. So if it blocks, maybe is it the... That's is the it smallest size. Small, extra small. Or I think that's the extra small and then there's a small and medium. Okay. I'll look at the sizing around mm -hmm. the breasts. 
ellipses. Yeah, it's a fun knit. And so if you want to make it a little longer, you might end up using three skeins or two and a half. So just kind of judge it, look at the yardage, but she doesn't give an estimate if you make it any longer. You'll just be going kind of from what you want to do. So that watch work. for that. that yeah. works. Yeah. Okay, so that's all that we have on our needles right now. Yeah. Um, excuse me, should we do, I wonder what's in this knit? Yes. Okay. Can I go first? We're, yeah. Okay. We're kind of moving thing, through things kind of quickly right Again, now. Again, we have to dye yarn for all you lovely people. Mm -hmm. um, but we actually won something. That's so cool. I know. So the podcast Knitting I Love, Barbara, she um she draws names of podcasters that she watches out of a bowl and sends them a prize every month. Like, And she draws a name randomly and we happen yeah. to win, what, it was a it's month like two and a half, ago. two months ago. <laughs> So it's taken this long. Sorry, I'm just trying to put my pattern back together that I threw on the floor. I'm just here. So I don't forget where I'm at on it. Okay. But we won some goodies. So I was just going to pull those out and okay. you're going to show them here. We haven't really looked at them because we haven't seen anything yet. I know. Oh, there's three things. I wonder if she sent something. For a giveaway? Made with love. Oh, these are super cute. I'm, I'm guessing one of these are for one of you guys. So we're going to pick, so she, these are, oh my she makes like leather needle cozies. I really like them. That is awesome. I haven't even seen it. <gasps> Mom. What? What is it? It's pink. Oh, I'm like, what? Oh my gosh. Those are so pretty. And this, this one. Hold on. She has also, there's a leather strap. And a bracelet. Oh no, a keychain. Is it a keychain? It's a keychain. Yeah, it's a keychain. I'm going to open this. Open it. These are so fun. Silent Forest Pouch. Silent Forest. Oh, these are these are made out of felt. Oh. Silent Forest Pouch. Made oh, out they of felt. are. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. These are just like cute and dainty. Stitch marker. A little cute little stitch marker. With made out of felt. She has these cute little things that you can sew onto your knits. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I love these. A little keychain that says socks. And then oh. these beautiful see. So here's kind of her information. If you wanted to go check these out. These are cute. I actually saw these on Arctic Knitting Podcast a while back, actually. Oh, Nordic. No, Nordic Stitches. Or Nordic. Nordic Stitches? Mm -hmm. Yeah. On her. Um, I love these oh, little these tags. <gasps> Do you see how these work? No. You put your needles in there. Oh my gosh, so it kind of wraps around your needles. Yeah. I like that. That's cute. Is that an active snap? Like, does it I don't think so. So that you can put, yeah. If you break. <gasps> yeah, because otherwise you might not, you can't get your needle around oh, it. Oh, I'm like, if you break so it, So it it's unsnaps weird. right here, so you can put your needles in it. That's really cool. I've That's never really seen cute. That's like a that. really cute design. Oh my gosh, beautiful. There's so many cute things. So, so thank you, Barbara. She gave us, I think I want actually this one. Yeah, after this looking at it, like, that one might be cuter for you. That Which one, one do you want? I think that's bigger. This is green. So this is for size oh, seven needles. I don't have that size. And these are size five. Okay, then we better, do you want the green and I'll take the pink? Sure. Is that all the goods that come with it? Wait, no. do you want my pink strap? And I'll sure. take your gray one. Sure. And I'm Since I just took it out of your hand. Bin. And where's this cute little thing? Right there. I love these things. These oh my so goodness. cute. So yay, Barbara, thank you. So and you sent one and she sent one for you guys, it looks like. Yep. So I went in the bucket you. just now. Now I have a matchy set. Me too. Okay. Okay. Yay. Thank oh you gosh. so much, Barbara. That was very generous. That's so sweet. I love it. To she give away that. to the podcasters. That's I really know. cute. Okay. okay, what do you got? You got do a ton of other stuff? I left them all at home in the other bag. So okay. I brought a giant bag of yarn here to start setting up our displays this morning, and so I thought I had everything. I did not. Okay, so I saw <gasps> online. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Online, Two Sticks and You, mm -hmm. Brenda, she posted some bags that she had made, and I ordered one of every one she had, which was only three. But when you see, you'll know so. why. So this, these are sock bags. <laughs> I'm opening them up. Here's the first one. I love that. She's the same person that did the little um, elephant bag. Oh, leg. is she? Oh, I believe so. Yeah. I think I think you're showing favoritism oh, here, Mom. I do a little bit. So that's <laughs> bag number one. It's purple. Love it. And then this is 
oh bag gosh. number two, which is oh, I like turquoise. I do like this purple though. Oh my goodness. So those are the two. And then number three. Oh of goodness. course. Look at how cute. Where did she all, get all these prints? I don't know. I think they're like a quilting block. They look like it. But they're all all the cats are different in different poses. None of them are the same. Oh so my gosh. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I was gonna let you pick one. <gasps> oh, don't act surprised. You I, know. I can at some point. You no, know. honestly, I didn't think those are so your yes, definitely. The you purple. want the purple. <laughs> but these are so cute. Look oh at my it. gosh. So I don't know if she still has them in her shop because I we were supposed to podcast last week Never and I bought them now. like a week before that. Oh my gosh. I love these. Thank you. So original, aren't they? I You're know. welcome. Yeah. It's just so original. So check out Brenda's shop. It's two sticks and you. E W E. -E. e um, and two is T W O. And, oh, so Brenda, love it. Beautiful work. Two as in the amount of sticks. Two sticks. Yeah, that. That? That's the, what I was, that's what I meant. Oh, these are so pretty. I know. Okay. I love that. That is awesome. And you don't have any other things? No. Oh, my goodness. Like I said, I did get you something. It's just so not here. So much pressure. I know. Then I received a, just a beautiful package out of the blue, which was so sweet. By uh, from from Clark and L, which is Jen, oh, yeah. who happened to be one of my guest dyers when I did the guest dyer oh segment. Gosh. I think she was the very first winner of that. Like way way when I first started the podcast without you guys, me, without Tristan, even she wasn't even a thought. No, I'm like, so oh, that's cool. She sent. I have to show you. She's got these in her shop. It's a new bag design that she and her friend, I think. What's the note? I had a cute note. I don't know. Jen. Well, she's Clark and L, and they have this new bag design. So let me show you. And she sent one for me, one for you, Is and that one candy in there? as a gift. Yeah, to give away. So this there's one might be mine. I'm gonna cute drawstring bags. This one it says "Busy Bird." I think the bag design. Sorry, my throat's sore, so I need something to suck oh. on. And they're a drawstring bag, oh my sock size. And look how cute the pattern, the material is, though. I love that. And the inside, it's got books. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, all kinds of books. But they're all a little different. And then she sent with them um, a sock set. Oh, that's cute. And this one is 80% Superwash Merino 20 Nylon. This one is Joshua 1-9. So it's a Bible reference. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? Look how beautiful those colors are. Like so she sent one for me, one for you, and one as a giveaway. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, so. I'll take this one because I already ate the candy from it. Okay. And each of the bag colors is different. This one has got the orangish oh, wow. red. And then this one has got, um, I guess it's just designed. It's not really a oh, loose color. One. That one's turquoise. That one's yellow on the bottom? Yellow on the bottom. I think I want this one. Yeah, I was gonna say that one's definitely, yes. definitely, definitely. But I, I this really one's very much. I want to look because I think here's the card. So um, busy bird. Uh, let's bag. see. Yeah, busy bird. She. Let's see. Mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. Cheryl from Busy Bird Bags and Jen develop these kits one so uh cute. this called spring is in the air so i i think they're being sold on clark and l oh, okay so check out clark and l on etsy so they might still have some of these kits. they might yeah because i received oh, this so again cute. i received these a couple weeks ago so thanks jen and cheryl that was so sweet i, I just know. really appreciate that and it's so exciting that we can give one to one of you so we'll have to think of something that we can do for that so that's exciting. Well, we do have our one thing, one thing that we forgot to announce that we're doing a knit along. Oh, because we're we just were so busy. We are doing a knit along. It's the sh 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 I have something in my mouth, <laughs> and I don't have an excuse. The shoe <laughs> suey, the shoe suey shrug. Sweet, shoey, suey. Shoe suey shrug along. Yes, with lofty loops. And uh, uh, Allison from Lofty Loops, Meg from Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits, and Hannah from the Corner of Craft or the Craft Tea Podcast. 
I did it. Crafty chat. Crafty chat. <laughs> so close. The Crafty Chat Podcast. These and are mento, so they're very chewy. Hold on. And so that will run until May 14th. 14th. Um, so that's coming up in a month, less than a month. And we're doing our Those Summer Knits Along. The Summer Knits Along. Yeah. And that's for... I don't know when it was ending. Anything, I know I put it somewhere. Anything tank top or short sleeve made out of... Or shorts. Or shorts. I'm making a pair of shorts. Or I'm a, doing Marled Mania pants, but I'm doing them shorts. Or a shawl. Or a, a shawl. lightweight shawl. Do we want to add socks? I feel like we're excluding so many people. <laughs> Summer socks? Will they have to be shorties? Well, then that, no, 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 no. Well, think about it. You can take these to the pool with you because they're small knits. But they're competing in the same drawing. We'll do different drawings. Okay. I want to include more people. Okay, so we'll split it. We'll do like yeah. the, the smaller knits and the larger knits. Summer sock along, those summer knits those along. Those summer knits. Okay, does that work? Let's do it. That's just off the cuff. We're right? also doing a swancho along, but yes. I don't know that there's very many I am. people that I'm doing it. entered in it. <sighs> Whatever. Well, that's fine. Not a lot of people did the sushi we shrug along, and that one you just have to participate. Because I don't even have to finish it. Because that's brioche. It's brioche. It's a little harder, and I feel a little bad because I, it might be the yarn that I'm using or something like that, but I know I want to make it. I just don't know if I want to make it right now. Then don't. I participated, though, and that's all we're asking people. We're not saying you have to finish it. It's more of just trying something new. It's kind of like taste testing, and if yeah. you don't like it, don't make it. Yeah, just post a picture that you tried it, and Meg, you'll be in the didn't drawing. Meg finish hers? Meg finished it, and she's working on another one. And somebody else she's finished just theirs. The show off. Somebody else finished theirs. Um, um, it was from Mean Girls. Mm-hmm. Rachel? Mm-hmm. Rebecca? Mm-hmm. I mean, Stephanie? Stephanie. <laughs> I always this. get Rachel and Rebecca mixed up with everyone who's named Rachel or Rebecca. I do, too. <laughs> I got that from... I wonder if that's, like, a genealogical thing. Is it Rebecca or Rachel? It's Rachel. That's Tabby and Rachel. And is it Rebecca and it's Stephanie? It's Rebecca. It's Rebecca! Wait. It's Rebecca and it's... Dang it! Okay. Uh. Crap! <laughs> oh, well. And these are our friends. I know. And we don't even okay. know their names. Should we move on? Because this guess. is a short podcast. I know. Okay. So, okay. since all of the knits lately that I've been knitting have been um, larger knits, mm. I needed to order some more. Don't give me one. You already gave me one. Sweater. These I are for you. These are for me. Okay. Just making sure. I these love are, you. But you need to make yourself some things. I didn't make these. No, you need to make knits. I am going them. to. Okay. But anyway, um, I ordered some more of the By the Bay oh my gosh. Um, bags. In and the, we're actually going to have some of these in our... We are putting some of these in our booth in Farmington at the um, Great Basin Fiber Festival mm -hmm. and at Vogue Knitting Live, mm -hmm. if she'll allow us to. So I got these two colors, a gray and the, the khaki color. And I have the red one. And don't I have another one? I have I a small yellow one. I have, did I give you a sweater size? Yes. So I gave you the gray one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, now I have three of these. And I think I have a sweater bag coming from Nina, too. I love her sweater bags. Yes. I just... They're huge. Love the big bags. Even for a big shawl, you need a bigger bag. You really so, do. big shawls and sweaters and swanchos. It's just saying. Swanchos. I will finish mine. I didn't bring it because I haven't really worked on it, and so I would have felt bad. So I finished okay. this. I'm finishing the tag nut, and then I'm going to put it right back on. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. So this, these are from her shop. She's got all different colors. These are the canvas ones. She also has drawstring ones that are not canvas. I think she's having a sale right now too what? with them for this weekend for her Go non non canvas ones. By but the they're like, it's by the bay mm -hmm. on Etsy. By the way, Yarn Co. Or did by you the bay it? Yarn Co. By the bay Yarn Co. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can go to her Instagram, Instagram and there's a link in her profile. Yes. But anyway, I love those. Okay, yeah. moving on. Okay. That's awesome. I think I have one more thing to show. K. Okay. K. Speaking of, okay. Speaking of K. Speaking of K. I just have to show K of the Crazy Sock Lady podcast got me really, got me started on collecting mugs. From, and apparently me too. And Tristan gets one too. Um, she sent us each a beautiful mug from. Um, There's K. Yeah, and she put some candy in it from North Carolina. Oh, my gosh. We actually FaceTimed, and she opened these with me. 
That's I FaceTimed Tristan. I'm like, we've received a gift. We have to open it right now. I'm like, okay. So, because I, lately I can't wait till the podcast. I'm having a hard time. Really? Stop then. Um, but I Stop have what? been collecting these now. I have, um, this would be my fourth. I'm like, do you have two now? I Mom, have two. two. <laughs> I have my collections of, no, because I got two in Nevada, and then I have mm-hmm. the Utah one, now this one. And we're going to Maryland and wa- in Washington, D.C. Yeah. This coming, um, well, we in two weeks. To. In two weeks. And then California. And then California. And, and I know maybe. some people have already gotten us some, too. And I'm like. Really? Oh. I wasn't planning on collecting these people, but I guess I, I have am, to now. I'm planning on it. Thank you. I love it. I know. I'm so that one's yours. Like, Yay. Thank you, Kay. And I got my- I'm going to pull this right back out because she also got us goodies. Just little little she- stuffs. You can't have enough of these, so I'm happy about that. Tape measure. And I was actually really wanting one of these the other day, but I really want this chocolate. Oh. That's what it's about. That's what I'm opening yeah. it back for. But I think that, oh, I have one last thing. This is probably the most important thing for me to show okay. today. Okay. And I did get you one, and you know, already knew about them. Oh, um, I did. Okay. I'm like, what did you get me, Mom? I got me. This one's mine. We this buy each other too many things. So I oh had made, and these are still available on teespring.com, T-E-E spring.com. I think that one's, no, you actually. smell funny. Because they're brand new. I think that one's mine. This one's yours because it's get it? the Did girl's I get this? cut. I got oh. you the woman's cut. I made Thank the men's. Thank you. Okay. I am a woman's cut. I designed these and the proceeds go to, um, oh my gosh, what's the name of the organization? It's an anti-bullying organization. I can't remember the name of it. Ah, oh, shoot. Anyway, it's listed on Teespring when you look up these shirts. So let's show them. so excited aren't those so nice these are so cute so you can get them in different colors so you can get white with the pink writing there's um i think there's a gray gray there's a there's a gray one in there and there's also i got this for me there's all there are also hoodies available i have to get one of those (gasps) yay how do you know this is the girls tee wait no this one is yours wait Cause I got they they're, they're each the same. different cut. No, mine is they have two different t-shirt kinds. Is yours a petite? Oh wait, maybe I did get us the same one. I'm like this is a. Oh no, I got you a smaller size. That's oh what it is. okay. I got me. I like mine to be a little bit bigger. So nice. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. And we've already been able to raise some money off there yes. to donate yes, as well. So that's I, been fantastic. We actually released them on the same day as our anti-bullying yarn and um, her and Tristan's pattern. Mm-hmm. And we were able to gain some sales. And the proceeds are already being sent to the organization. So that's a great way to give and have some clothing. Yeah, I mean, it. you need to clothe yourself. You do. Clothe yourself, people. So I'm excited about that. Oh, I did with my pattern really fast. I did want to... Um, to say, because it was actually, I hope I don't get emotional, um, but um, Cinder, the reason I called the pattern Cinder was um, in, it was just more in um, like a dedication to the girls I worked with um, at the treatment center and specifically to like the one who didn't actually make it through and, you know, like. Passed away. Passed away. And mm-hmm. um, and so I've been able to, like, reach out to some of my girls that were in the center with her at that time and just kind of let them, let them know. Like, um, and I, I did write a little blurb on it as well on the pattern and when you go on Ravelry to get it and stuff. And so I was able to let them know. And as soon as I get all of the, the things worked out, I'll be able to let her mom know. Because so cool. I'm still in contact with her mom, and I'm I'm super excited, because um, they've done a few campaigns for like anti bullying and um, suicide prevention and things like that. So it's it's been great, and she knew for a while ago I wanted to do something. She gave me permission um, to like give very minimal information in the the pattern when I released it, and so yeah, I'm just super excited to actually be able to say, hey, we ran. We, we raised this much money in honor of her yeah, and stuff. So I just want to thank you guys because that, that pattern does mean a lot to me. It just is. Just for that. That's really cool to have something that means so much 
it puts a lot of passion into it. Yeah. When you're designing it. And so. she always wore beanies, and so it was just, it was perfect. That would so. be cool. So, yeah. Sorry. That is. No. I forgot to mention that at the beginning when we were talking about it. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. Well, why don't we wrap up today with doing um, our finished brews? And our I'm Dying Here. Oh, yeah. I have a couple. Which would you like to do first? Um, let's do what we're wearing. Okay. It's our finished brews. It's things that we finished in the last three weeks, I guess. <laughs> three weeks, yeah. Yes. So, um, Except for Tristan when she leaves a pair of socks at home. True. So you'll have more to show next time. But I finished my swan show. As if we didn't know. I tried not to say anything about it the whole time. <laughs> um, I had so much fun making this. It's a DK weight sweater swan show. So it's a swan show. And it's also by Caitlin Hunter, Boylan Knit. I think it's Boylan Knitworks. So I think it like- is. It's right here, Christy. Oh, oh my on. gosh. I know. It's on the pattern I had, too. It's the Ninnel Chick swan show. And I know it's on here because I saw it. I saw it. Where is it? I think you're wrong. I think I am. Dead wrong. It's oh, it's right Boylan there. Knitworks. Okay. Okay. And she's on Instagram. And this was a really enjoyable project. Yeah. And I made a couple slight alterations, nothing major. I just made it shorter. And then I added color to the border of the arms, the sleeves, and to the bottom we'll of the sweater. We'll stand up. Let's see some of it. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm building oh. to it. So I loosened my gauge probably more than I should have. And so when I blocked it, it grew quite a bit. And I'm so glad I shortened it. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm five foot one. It would have been really short. So I'm going to stand up and show you. Oh my gosh. I love those colors. Look at how fun, you guys. I never would have thought to put those colors together. And it just works yeah, so well. They do. And they are so fun. And it's so fun to see the different colors that people have used mm-hmm. for this online. And I didn't use any speckled yarn, and a lot of people did. A lot did. of people do. And mm-hmm. I think that's great. I would love to make one with speckled because I, I it's just chose. It's a fun pattern. Of it course, is. you want to knit it again. I do want to knit it again. And I won't probably do as loose of a gauge. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was a good practice for color work, and I used both hands. So I was able to See, I haven't done pick. that, and I heard when you actually do color work in big projects like that and you're mm-hmm. not used to it, you need to do it just with one hand. Otherwise, it loosens your gauge a ton. Well, when I was doing it with one hand, my gauge was so tight. I couldn't... Really? Yeah. And so actually by doing two hands, it helped me sl- it helped me loosen it up. Okay. It really helped well, that's what me. They said. They, they said it would make you a little bit looser. It did. Your gauge yeah. a little bit off that So way. me being... On the little bit tighter side of a knitter, it was good for me to use both hands. Plus, I kind of wanted just to learn how to do that. Yeah, that There's is a, a really good work. skill to have. Yeah, and it helps you. It helps the yarn stay where it's supposed to on Instead the back of, side. Yeah. Uh huh. I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't remember what size needle I used. I think it was like a size eight, so it's pretty big gauge. Mm-hmm. You know that it went fast. To, I mean, really, it did. It went pretty fast. I love it. Yeah, it is so pretty. I think it only took me a couple weeks to make. Yeah, and I mean, if you were monogamous on it and hadn't been sick through any of that. I was super sick for one week, and I did work on it while I was sick when I yeah. could. Um, but man, Because I, I know with so me enjoyable. at least, like, I, I've gotten here, mm-hmm. and that was probably three nights worth of knitting. Yeah, it's, it's so the fast. The first half is really fast because you do some increases along the way, mm-hmm. but once you get down to the bottom of the color work, you're pretty much done. I mean, look at how far away from the sleeve, like, you separate the sleeves, yep, and then you knit mm-hmm. that, that little, you, that little patch. You add your sleeves on, which is all ribbing, mm-hmm. and then you add the bottom, and the pattern actually calls for, like, I think it said eight inches of of your solid. But we small. And this is, yeah, we little, we wee things. And so this is only about three or four inches. And then I put the ribbing on. And I actually took the ribbing apart at first because I forgot that I wanted to add. Look at those floats. Oh my gosh. Those are really good floats. They're not bad, huh? And I, apparently that's something that people like to see with color work. Like they want to look do. at your floats. So what do you think of my floats? What do you think of my floats? Everybody judging <laughs> my floats. They look like little Christmas trees. I know. Or Aztec print. Yeah, I like that. I love Let's just wear it inside out from now on. I could do. I know. Reversible. You right? could do. Could do. I could, could do. do. Anyway, it was really fun. I want to make another one. I always say that about everything. Oh, I know. I never do. I want to make another one of these too, but I probably won't for a while. Well, let's hear about that. So, yes. from my complaining last week about having, or last time, three weeks ago, 
about having to do a test knit. Had I not been obligated to make this, I would have been a lot more cheerful about it. Regardless, it was still a very, very, very fun knit. Well, you weren't really obligated. Um, no, and I, I'm sure... She didn't sure, force you. No, no. One, no one forced you. You volunteered. I volunteered, and then I put that pressure on myself. You did. Um, but, and I had a month to knit it, and then I cast everything on at the same time. So, <laughs> that was my own fault. Um, but it kind of, it forced you to, to actually pay attention and, and stay focused on it. And not alter things. Yes. Yeah, which we know I love to do. So, this is the Blooming Brio Shawl. Would you have altered it? I may like, have. I already did something wrong on it. You did? I was supposed to put color um, contrast one and two together right here, but I did the main color and contrast one right here. Mm. So. Can't even tell. Good. I wouldn't have even known it. No one will know. No. Except for Brandy. Brandy will. She'll so this like, is, mm. she's like, um, that wrong, that's, honey. That no, one. That one's wrong. No. And my, my tails are very long right there. I know. I'm like, I'm like that's. A little, little tentacle sticking out. Um, so this is by Brandy Velton. Um, she is long the dyer behind Long Dog Yarn too, and so but it's Brandy V E L T E N on Ravelry, and so here it is. And the, can you help a woman out? I'm sorry, I'm just I'm fascinated by the edge. Why these strings are so long? Is that a brioche thing? I think so. I love that. Yeah. <gasps> okay, sorry. I just Anyways. I don't I don't brioche, so it So here it's very long. See, this would be a good length for the Find Your Fate shawl. Mhm. I love and, it on. Yeah. So this is my in my Hunter's Moon colorway. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And this is my toffee colorway tonal that I made with it. And then this is actually a colorway dyed by Peggy Jane Fibers. I'm not sure the colorway cuz I bought it like a year and a half ago and I'd already used it in something in my Andrew Mowry pattern actually. Um, but I love it, and so to make so kits for sure. it, I dyed something tonally purple like this, but very different as well to go with it for the kits. Um, but yeah, it was it was so much fun, and it's so it's well gorgeous. written. And the only reason that it's listed as intermediate on Ravelry is because brioche isn't technically an intermediate skill. It as is far as isn't. it is, oh yeah. And so as far as brioche goes, if you know how to do it, this is not an intermediate pattern. It's so simple and brilliantly made. And it's so well written. I just, I had so much fun doing it. Once I got along with it and if you it made me fall the in love complaining with... that she did, just put that aside. <laughs> pretend it didn't happen. It, it was, was just fun. about my own time management and putting that pressure on me. But I love it. This is my favorite thing. I've been living in it ever since I blocked it and I got to take some really fun photos because <laughs> so I'm trying to do more um, FO photos but I'm just going to keep like just going to show it again across it's so gorgeous it's... like <laughs> so gorgeous thank you man so I I love it and it's so funny because her pattern is so springtime and summery like her finished object she did and, yours and then a lot so of the other people did too and mine's so gothic so dark and jewelly I love it it's a Me lot of jewel too. tones in them. Yeah. I've been really drawn to jewel tones for a lot of things recently. So That's beautiful. Thank oh you. Gosh. And it. it's mine. Yep, it's all yours. <laughs> you can have it back now. So, and I feel bad because it was, you know, test knitting. It's like, oh, yeah, totally. I'll test, I'll test knit that. It's more like, oh, my gosh, I just want to knit that before anyone else has a chance to. So yeah. I'm going to volunteer to test knit. And, and then, I did. And then I'm like, oh, crap, I actually have to do stuff now. You actually have to follow some I just rules. wanted it. <laughs> but I'm glad. It was a really good experience. And working with Brandy was great. Um, she gave me plenty of time to do it. She was very responsive. The Ravelry group that we were using was very active. It was great. So And you finished it on time. I finished awesome. it on time, posted everything, did all the things, got the yardage. Perfect. So in my kits, kits that I have right now, you need two skeins of the, the main color and one of each contrasting color. So if you have skeins around the house, too, that you could use for that, perfect. Good. And that's all I have. And that's all I have. That's no, my, no, I have one more. You have, oh, you have another FO? Because while we were talking. You FO'd. I finished my, my contrast contrast socks. So I made a pair of shorties because I was dyeing yarn. And I'm like, I don't want to wear long socks. And so I made myself a pair of shorties. They're cute. Thank you. And Thanks. I cast on with this one, and I'm like, oh, I really like this color more. And so I'm just like, I don't want to knit with the yellow again. Is it so BFL this one or? This one is actually a sparkle yarn. So this is 70% merino wool. 
20% nylon. No. 25% nylon. 25% nylon. 5% Stellina. And this is in my old fluffy sock base. And it was just a, a tonal yellow I made to go with something, and then I never used it. And then this one is in my Dragon Scales base, or my Dragon base. I renamed it. And this was actually the My Favorite Murder colorway, the Look, Listen, Look, and Listen. And I just love it. I'm, it's beautiful. I think I'm just going to bring it back because I really love the colorway. It has subtle hints of mauve in there, and too, and some base. purples. Is it a gray base? It's a blue. It's blue. Mm -hmm. oh, so pretty. So I think it'll eventually come back. A lot of my My Favorite Murder colorways will come back at some point. But yeah, I just wanted to make myself a pair of shorties, so I did. I love it. That's fun. And I didn't want them to match because I wanted to be cool. That is cool. And that's also I want, why I wanted to do a sock knit along as well. Just because. Because you like making socks? Yeah. Good. So. No, that's great. I think that's yeah. great. So let's do the I'm dying here yes. segment. And let's see what you got. I do don't you have, have any new, new ones? Okay. Nope. I actually have more than this, but of course they're in my bag. I left at home. Um, so I have a few new colorways that have come to the shop. First one is Wonderland. And they're all labeled because they're going right back on our on thing. On our display. So yeah, I just wanted to do a little ode to um, an old colorway. Was um, This was in the shop about a year ago, I think. And so I just revamped it, changed some of the colors out, and I love it. So it has some, you can't really see, but it has some pinks in there as well. So it's just a light peachy base with a bunch of speckling on it. Mm -hmm. And then I have Covet which is like a, a gray blue base with just some basic speckling in there, but it's such a good transitional color, especially with a lot of the colorways I have in my shop right now. But these, nope, just kidding. This was part of one of my Zweig kits that I made. I just don't have the other one because I thought I talked about that one already, but I did not and it's out in the living room. And I'm not gonna Ooh. go get it. Yeah. But, so I have a bunch of new colorways that I don't actually have here. Um, and then I have this one is Lichen, which someone helped me name. It's gorgeous. It's like blues and greens. Right? I know. Right? Yeah. Teal. So I, I really like this one. Tealy blues and Tealy greens. Tealy bluey greens. I think there's some browns in there. That's yeah, really, it's fun. Very I, earthy. I know. This one I really like. This one was, I think, an automatic favorite of mine and apparently a lot of other people too. It is awesome. So this is Valkyrie, and this is my newest colorway, and it is no longer in the shop. It's sold out. So, um, but it'll probably be back um, in the next few weeks. I don't know how after often our I'm. Show. Yeah, I don't know how often the shop is going to be updated until after we do our festival because we're going to Maryland, and then four days after we're going to be doing our show. But so this is hands down. Again, I don't know why, but the jewel tones and the purples have totally been my jam lately, so. Well, they're kind of towards that gothic spectrum. Yeah. The darker, gothic-y, yeah. you know, the burgundies and purples and blues. So I, I'm loving it. Yeah. So it's so funny. Like, the majority of my stuff in my shop will fade perfectly together. Because they're know. all We're in that. I know. We're looking at our <laughs> colorways today, and it's funny. Just our styles have morphed so much over yeah. the years. And that's one thing I wanted to bring up. I think up. that happens, though. It does. You know, if you've ever, if you've been in the dyeing community the knitting indie dyed community and you've tried dyers in the past and you're like, I didn't really care for their style or whatever. Just know that go back and try them again because yeah. most of us, when we're first starting out, we're winging it. Mm -hmm. We don't know what we're doing. I mean, maybe there's a few people that have researched it really I still feel depth. like I don't know what I'm doing though. A uh, there's lot of a times lot of, with some of the yeah. colorways I come up with, I'm like, oh, yep. that's not going to look good. <sighs> yeah. So I never say, oh, I don't like that dyer. Mm -hmm. I just may not have been attracted to some of the colorways that they were making or their style at that time, but mm -hmm. I've seen so many people's styles morph and change over oh, the yeah. years, and it's so exciting to me because I love growth, and that me that tells me that that's my word of the year to grow is grow. Mm -hmm. It's growth. That's awesome. See, I mean, that's just that's what we all should be striving for is, yeah. is being better and and growing. So, yeah, so try people, give people a chance. Yeah, go back and go look back. at their stuff. So exciting to see the changes people make. But yeah. Anyway, I think that's all that I have today. I don't have anything else. This is, it's, I don't even know if this is going to be a quicker podcast. I have no idea. I have no idea at all. We're no. done. Yeah. I'm just going to eat my candy now. How many do I have left? I know. It's, <gasps> I have the strawberry one. You do. I'm so happy now. We have to go work now. Yeah. Do some stuff. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Guys, there's so much to do. <laughs> and we'll do it. Yeah. And then if you're going to be in Maryland at the Sheep and Wolf Festival. We'll be there too. Yeah. Um, hit us up. Let us know. We'll be... We'll be at Needles Up about. on that Friday. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be working the door. So you will see us because we're the bouncers. We the bouncers. We the bouncers. Well, I'm just excited because that means we will be able to say hi to everybody that I comes know. through the, the line. I can't open this candy. Okay. And we feel honored to be um, asked to do this by yeah. Andy and Chelsea and Sue for their Needles Up event. That's going to be so fun. We're so grateful. Yeah. I mean, we just love meeting people and that'll be so fun to be able to say hi to everybody. I know everyone in line. Yep. You're all our friends. Yes. We're going to be making new friends with everyone. And I think we have some buttons left over from Rhinebeck. I don't know if I'll We just cannot get enough. rid of. Uh, they, they, that, they like reproduce in the bag. I know. They're like so bunnies. We'll probably bring those with us and give them to whoever we can. Yeah, if you want a button, just... Come ask for one. Yeah. If we have them left, you can have them. You can have all of them. You can start we wanna, them We want to make new ones. Maybe we'll, you can give them out for us. Yeah. Let's just have you like have a bag and you can... Yep. Put them down like little pieces of bread comes, crumbs after us. I just throw them, just throw them like oh confetti or like bird food. I'm like, we accidentally bird like feed. throw the bag and it like all hits one person. Everybody? It's like, sorry. But we're looking forward to it. So, um, but until then, we're going to try to podcast. We won't be able to podcast no. in two weeks. I'm like, do not promise that. And we won't be able to podcast in three weeks nope. because we'll be at our show. So if there's an evening somewhere in there that we have time, we might. Yeah. If not, we might not see you for about a month. Yeah, but we're going to be doing lives from wherever yep. we're at, little videos and stuff. So yep. so make sure just, you follow both of us on Instagram mm-hmm. and the information will be probably in the notes or in the down bar. Yeah. At least in the down bar Hopefully. on YouTube. So. But until then, have a great few weeks. Yeah, and we'll, we'll see you around, guys. Okay, see ya. Bye. Bye. Candy.